and we can carry on. Enjoy this intro music, it's awesome. Yeah, Mega Man 3 is so much better. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet because this song is amazing for an intro theme. Trying to position the fan so it doesn't pick up on the mic. Okay, I think that's about where the game sound needs to be. All right, here we are, Mega Man 3. And the first thing you'll notice is that weird glitchy line at the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah, can you hear the game okay? It's not picking up on the mic, is it? try it like that. You might get a little gust of wind occasionally. So where do we begin? Where do we begin? Snake Man or Top Man? Let's begin with Top Man. Awesome stage tune. Pretty fun stage, but a completely pointless weapon. You'll see. Also, first thing, before we even get into the rest of the gameplay and stuff, look at the improvement in the graphics. I had to move that closer because it was too hot. Yeah, it's wide open. Hmm. Alright, Mega Man 3. Um, kind of badly programmed in some ways because there's a lot of slowdown. And you can slide. There's something new for this one. Oh, I wish I still had the metal blade. Is this quieter? I'll turn it up a little bit. If you get hit there, you can just go past. I love the design of the stage though, like you can see the um, the plants there and you can see parts of the stage that have been broken open and stuff. But yeah, look at the flicker there. Look at the sprite flicker. It's pretty bad. Oh yeah, the metals of... Metals, I think they're called? They've learned how to walk now. I didn't give them a chance to show it off. Also, like the um, weird dragon things in Mega Man 2, we now have more giant enemies that like to throw things at you in the stage, which is always fun. I don't know how people can say they don't like having the slide. I think it makes the game a lot more fun to play. And it makes you look really cool when you transition screens. I don't understand why that one's there and the other one's not, because that's actually easier to fight than the first time you see them. There you go. Now he's got a chance to walk. And then instantly die. Sorry. Yeah, look at the bottom of the screen there. I really like how you can see the glass is shattered and the spikes are coming through. Ah, I always try and get past that bit without getting hit, but it's quite difficult. Oh my god, that was close. This is like a much nicer section compared to Airman stage. 
A little bit short, though. I think they could have made that more challenging. Anyway, Topman is one of the easiest robot masters in the whole game. In any of the games. You just have to do that and slide out the way and then jump over him. Yeah, I messed up the first time because I forgot, but it's just that over and over. And then jump. Not that it really matters anyway. At least the bosses are a little bit more difficult compared to Mega Man 2 because there's no difficulty options anymore. So it's going to make it a little bit more interesting to play at least. And uh, yeah, Top Man's weapon is basically only good against one boss. Uh, Shadow Man, I think it was. But apart from that, you never really have to use it in the game, ever. Uh, I don't know. I always just go for Top Man first because I know I can defeat him without anything else. Uh, I actually have no idea about the order of Mega Man 3. But I know I like the music in Snake Man, so let's go with this. If anyone wants to look up a recommended boss order for me, feel free. But enjoy this music, it's awesome. It's just such a cool, dynamic song. And I also love the uh, theme for the stage too, like with all the snake skin and scales everywhere and stuff. It just looks really cool. This bit's cool too. The uh, in-game slowdown actually helps you out there. Gives you a little bit more time to think. Random pointless room. Yay. And these enemies are really stupid. You can just do that and then just go underneath them. Oh. Ah. Uh. But yeah, so far. I think you'll agree that Mega Man 3 is just better than Mega Man 2 in every way. Even at this early stage, I would say this is definitely... Um, the best of the three that we played tonight. It goes 3 1 2, in my opinion. And this gets replaced. Um, I haven't even used any items, so I don't know whether they come back. These question mark boxes basically get replaced with an actual character in Mega Man 4 called Eddie. <coughs> <coughs> and I really like Eddie, he's fun. But with that one, you can leave the screen and come back and you've basically got a chance to get another random item. Ah. I don't know how to dodge these very well though. That's the one thing that I'm not very good at in Snake Run stage. I always like doing that. Jump over them and then chase them. Ah. Don't like this jump either. I love the shading on these. I don't know why. I always just thought it looked really cool, like, almost pseudo-3D style. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mario 2 as well, with these weird spider things. Uh, Magnet Man first, okay. And again, another bit that reminds me of Air Man. I love how dynamic these stages are as well, like, you begin somewhere else to where the stage ends up. Which is really cool, and they... Oh, no! I remember when I was first playing Mega Man 3, I fell off there a lot. They expand on that in Mega Man 4 as well. How the stages sort of have two different sections to them. Same with this one. Like A lot of the stages in these games are sort of split into two halves. Whereas you didn't really get that in the first two Mega Man games. It was very much, this is the theme for the level and this is what it's going to be until the end. trying to look at the suggested boss order there, but maybe I'll I'll wait until I'm out of this area. Okay. 
these enemies are usually what cause me to mess up here. And if you don't jump before you get onto those platforms as well, that can be kind of dangerous because it can push you a bit. And the best thing to do is just do it slowly like that. There we go, and then we made it to Snake Man. I don't know what his weakness is. Uh, let's see what he said. Risotto S says, Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, Shadow Man, Spark Man, Snake Man, Gemini, and Needle. Okay. Is that in the order of their weaknesses as well? Oh, I'm not going fast enough. See what I mean about the slowdown in Mega Man 3 though? Like, Everything moves so slowly most of the time. Which isn't bad because it gives you time to dodge. But... Oh my god, oh no! Oh, I'm so close then! Damn it. Well, we get another try. I don't think Top Man's going to be any use. We've got full health. It's nice to actually have a challenge after playing Mega Man 2 anyway. I don't know how to dodge him there, I usually just let him jump on me. Pretty sure they have some amount of invincibility as well. Oh my god. That was close. Wow. I was down to two bits of health there. Alright, let's try Magnet Man next then. That's the one that Google recommended. <clears throat> it even has a nice new menu as well where you can select the items. And look how much cooler this is and how much faster it is too. There's no way anyone can say Mega Man 2 is better than Mega Man 3. And you're straight back. You don't have to watch that annoying cutscene every time. This one's a pretty fun stage. Like, if you stand still, you can see how that lifts you up, which can be fun for, like, moving over little gaps like that, but it can also be dangerous. And again, a really fun theme, too. Do, 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 do. Oh, our first introduction to Proto Man. He doesn't do much. Look at his pattern. Like, come on, you could have at least tried. Except I'm being stupid and getting hit in the corner. That reminds me of the giant rhino thing in Mega Man 4. Just moving instead. Or actually, the big whales from Dive Man Stage too. Everything seems like much more bulkier. Oh no. It begins again. Oh! Ah! Oh my god! I could have just made that then. Ah, uh, that's what's so annoying about this one. Do I have Rush yet? I do. Can I use him here? Kind of. Oh, okay. He helped a little bit. Now I guess we have to be careful. Okay, I can start from there. Oh. The other two are just a trick. Let's see what's going on here. As you can tell, I don't really have that much memory of any of these block patterns, but apparently they're all really simple. Is there any point going down there? Not really. Oh, well, maybe, if he... That's annoying. No. Uh, should we do it anyway just to get the health? Not like it'll take that long. And we can refill Rush as well. Oh yeah, the introduction to Rush. I didn't even mention that, but yeah. This was his first appearance. 
a staple of the franchise from here on out. Or here on in. What's the right way to use that phrase? In or out? I enjoy these kind of attacks that sort of trail behind you. Alright, Needle Man. Here we go. I don't know why that part of the stage has a little dip in it. None of the other doors have so far. So if I remember right, Needle Man's one is... Oh, wow. I was going to say kind of similar to Top Man, but... It actually seems even easier. Because you can literally just walk. Well, they do take a lot more hits, which is at least good. The sound effects changed as well, and it kind of makes it a little bit scary. I would say in, as in, in each game. Yeah, makes sense. Also, hi, hello. No, did we lose? I did check earlier and it was 2-1. The only reason I would care about football if we got a bank holiday. Uh, right, what does it say next? Magnet Man, Hard Man. See that flickering underneath his name there on the right? Apparently someone's fixed it. This is like an evolution of Gutsman stage. With an evolution of the weird birds that come out of eggs. And we also get some weird hand that tries to grab you in a second as well. Here. Oh wow, it was really slow. I don't remember it being that slow. And more awesome music. Also, hey, gone mad trying. We've been, we've actually played through two whole Mega Man games already, and now we're into Mega Man Three, which is definitely one of my favourites. Although I have. Not played it as much as the other two, so I don't really remember the order of things that well. I remember that after you finish the stages, you basically have to play them all again with like different layouts and fight new robot masters. Or is it you have to fight the Mega Man 2 robot masters? I can't really remember. I remember this one's a lot longer than the others though. In fact, I think this is longer than all the other ones. So I don't know whether we'll get through all of it. <coughs> uh, used to play it as a kid and never beat it, but as an adult it feels a bit scary to go back. I feel like if you went back now, you'd actually be surprised at how easy they are. Like, as a kid, I always found the Mega Man games to be really scary and like extremely difficult, but actually they're not. Like. Once you've played them a few times, they're actually really easy. Well, not really easy, but they're definitely not the hardcore action, Nintendo hard action games that people say they are. Like, there's plenty of chance to get health back and stuff. Although apparently not there, I thought it was gonna get something. Now we have to fight Proto Man again, except this time he's on a little bit of a different stage. Still exactly the same pattern though. He does take off quite a bit of damage though. There we go. Now that bit opens up. I do have any tank to use, but I'd rather not yet. So I'm guessing we have to use Magnet Beam. Here's like a more annoying version of those. Um, I don't even know what they were. Sentry robots, I think they were called. I always keep expecting an extra bit of the level there because we've been playing Mega Man 1. So if I remember right, he dives down into the floor and then pops back out again. Yeah. Is he gonna dive? Or am I thinking of someone else? Oh, he is a bit like Gutsman. 
Oh. Except it doesn't even matter if you're in the air or not, because you get frozen anyway. That doesn't make much sense. It should be like Gutsman, where it only happens if you hit the floor. Anyway, there's another one down. We get another cool little cutscene. When when you get to Mega Man 4, the cutscenes in that one, when you pick the item up, just look so cool. I always love the way those like lines go off into the distance. Uh, let's see what you said. Top Man, we've already done. Shadow Man. Next, I don't know which one of the uh, Robot Master's weapons we just picked up is actually weak against him or not. But we'll find out, I guess. I don't actually like this song that much. It kind of reminds me of Gravity Man a little bit from Mega Man 5. It's not a bad song, I just don't think it fits the stage. More boring Proto Man fights. Literally, if you stay on the floor, he won't even hit you. They could have put some effort into his patterns, surely. Like, is that why he's a prototype? Because he doesn't fight properly. Oh my god. That's better. Just pointless fights. I get it, it's like, ooh, there's a bit of a story. Like, ah, oh, there's a fake Mega Man. Oh my god. I'm not going to light back up. Oh yeah, you have to... Do you have to blow them up? I can't remember. There's something like... These guys exploding. I'm going to lighten the stage up again. Or maybe I'm just remembering things. Imagining things. Or maybe I'm thinking of Brightman stage from Mega Man 4, actually. That one's kind of similar. There's a pit, but it's also the end of the stage. And I still haven't used any other weapons. These are like an evolution of the flea things from Mega Man 1. And then this bit is kind of like Fireman's stage. Ah! I tried jumping then! Ah, it didn't respond because I picked the thing up at the same time. Okay, let's go back. Shadow Man. I think that's what we were playing. I will say the Robot Masters aren't as memorable. Oh, we have to do it all again. Let's see if we can speedrun this. Wow, that was good. I haven't actually seen any speedruns from Mega Man 3. That would be cool. Like, how do they utilize the slide mechanic? They can probably take Proto Man out super fast as well. I'm trying. Oh my god, he takes so many hits. Wow. That's insane. Give me health, give me health. That's not health. That's not health. That's nothing. Do they give you anything? So, I think what I learnt last time, there's nothing to worry about here, so you can just keep running. Oh my god, I'm not getting any health from anyone. Wow. That is, like, the unluckiest I've ever been. That entire time, I didn't get anything. Wow. Oh my god! The game wants me dead. Seriously. That's insane. Careful this time. There we go. This this just goes on forever. Oh my god, I almost fell in. Oh no! God damn it! Oh. 
No! Do I have to do it all again? Or is there a checkpoint? Okay, I don't have to do it all again. Ugh, that section's too long. And now you give me all the health when I don't need it. Seriously. Now watch me get frustrated and go too fast. Do you feel like the music in this game, even though it's good, it doesn't fit the stage? Oh my god, thank god for that. Oh, we made it through no problem that time. Now we have weird dragonfly things to worry about, which we can just skip straight past. So, what was the one we just got? It was hard knuckle? Maybe? Let's try that. I'll have to figure out... Um, Too much. Not a lot. Oh man, that's not doing much. Maybe it's something else? Why did it say do Shadow Man? Oh, after Top Man. Okay. I don't really understand how to use Top Man's weapon though, really. You just spin. What the hell? Okay, there we go, Top Man! <laughs> Top man takes out Shadow Man. I should be writing this down. Look at a piece of paper here, actually. Shadow Man, Top Man. I can't remember the others, but I don't really think the other ones matter that much. We also got Rush Marine. Yay. So next it says Spark. One of my favourite tunes in the game. I love this one. There is some annoying bits though, like these electric generator machines are really, really hard to dodge. And yeah, it tanks the frame rate, but the background looks cool, and I love what they did with the edge of the screen there, having all the different colours flash in like that. It makes the stage feel more alive, I think. There wasn't anything that really animated in the background in any of the previous ones, but here you've got like machines, you've got lights going off, and uh, I think in a minute you get some annoying, yeah, some annoying sections like this. Oh, I hate those bits so much. Look at that. That's so annoying. And they're back to the start of the stage. Definitely more of a challenge than Mega Man 2. Apart from Airman stage, I got through all of Mega Man 2 without using a continue. Oh well, I get to enjoy the music again. And I get to try and figure out the pattern for getting through those. I bet you can get past that one the first time if you're fast enough. Oh yeah. If you take too long with those enemies, they, like, emit electric in all directions. So you just want to take them out as fast as possible. I guess they're, like, the evolution of the Sniper Joe. Now, this bit's really easy, but there's a bit later on where there's, like, screws that build themselves up at the same time. But there, yeah, as long as you don't... Um, I don't even know if there is a way of dodging that, honestly. I'll just take the hit. There's health right there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we haven't even really used any weapons. Let's just refill rush. See? It doesn't really matter if you get hit by those electric bits, because you can get your health back straight away anyway. Whee! It's like, um... Mega Man 2, Dr. Wily, but without the spikes. Just a really long, empty corridor. Now, this is where having turbo fire would come in handy. <coughs> But if you're fast enough, you can just do it once and slide underneath. <coughs> now, 
here's the bit with the screws. Oh my god, that was close. There's probably a better way of doing that. Oh my, wow, that was close as well. There we go. Are you going to give me anything? I don't know if they are screws, but I think they are anyway. That's what they look like to me. So, what did we just get? Look at these. I remember this boss being quite annoying. Oh, wow. Okay, that works. Yay! Nice and easy. So we have three left. And then I think we have to repeat a bunch of them for some reason. So Gemini Man next then, I guess. Because we've already done Snake Man. Wait, have we only got two left? Can't remember if we've got two or three. Oh, there's only two. Uh, let's go to Gemini then. Yeah, I will say the downside is the Robot Masters themselves feel kind of similar. Or I feel like maybe it's just because they don't really have such um, simple designs, maybe, compared to Mega Man 1 and 2 where they were basically just following elements like you would expect, but these ones are more unique. Which is good. This bit reminds me a bit of the uh, second half of Ringman stage from Mega Man 4. Just easier. There's not really much going on. And it's super easy to dodge that fire. Just thank god there's nothing coming out of those pits. Because in some Mega Man games they love throwing random things out of the pits as soon as you're walking towards them. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, look who it is. Is he going to be jumping up and down again? Nope, he's just going to disappear this time. Now, I don't know if there's anything on the other side here. Have I ever tried that before? Let's see. I hope so. Really? Why would you do this, Capcom? What a trick. Oh, look at this insane level design. I don't know if I can get up there. Nah, no, probably too late for that. If we had the magnet beam from Mega Man 1. Oh, maybe. Actually, this is a good time to actually use one of the uh, weapons. If I can find it. Really? No way. The one time when I thought that would actually be useful and you can't do it. That's stupid. Wait, you must be able to use something though. Really? What the hell? Seriously? I feel like anyone who's played Mega Man 3 a lot before is just laughing at me right now. I'm gonna have to do it the slow way. Why do all of them have to have those weird ghosts in as well? That's all that was up there anyway. I thought it'd be something more interesting. What a weird level. If I remember right, you can use Rush Marine here, maybe? I can't remember why, though. This is kind of like the giant sea urchin thing from Mega Man 2. Such a weird level design. But do you see what I mean? Like, the designs of the levels don't really match the characters that much. This is what I was remembering. So you can get out Rush Marine and just swim across this section. 
and get a 1-up at the same time. And an E-Tank. Woo. The only thing you need to do is avoid the, um... Oh no! Ah! Oh. Avoid running out of energy, for one thing. Oh well. Is that it? Am I out of energy? Oh well, that was fun while it lasted. Now we have to use the regular rush to get up there instead. I wonder what would happen there if we ran out of both. Oh no! Okay. Good job that was there. No, if I do this tactically, we can fill up marine. A little bit at least. That's a, a scary platform. And that one. And that one. Oh my god. Yeah, as a kid I would have been terrified at this section. In fact, I probably wouldn't have been able to get past it. That's that's a lot to take on at once. Why? Okay, we made it. That was a lot. Oh, health fell through the floor. Oh, we made it to the boss. And we can take this guy out easily from the other side. Uh, I have no idea what weapon to use. Let's just take a guess. Oh, I remember this one actually. You need the fist. Oh man, I don't know how to fire it properly, but I think that's what you need to do. How much health have I got? I've got two more attempts. I think that's the right thing to do anyway. Let's try it again. Chasing me down. Where did that come from? I remember that's the weapon that he gives you. I'm surprised he didn't use it before then. Okay, that was a lot harder than it should have been. Maybe I wasn't using the right thing there. Dun, 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 dun. Gemini laser. I think that's it for the main stages. We're whizzing through these games. So. Oh, we have one more. Needleman. He's the final one, so I guess we use a Gemini laser. This one, for some reason, makes me think of a Sonic level. But again, the music doesn't match the stage at all. Not that it's bad music. Not sure what the theme of this stage is meant to be, like graphically. What are we looking at here? I'm on the roof of something, it looks kind of like a pirate ship maybe? I don't know what relevance that has with needles. Anyone got any idea? And then we go inside whatever this place is and it's full of weird spikes that you have to slide under. But yeah, no idea what I'm actually in here. Or why Needleman would be here. There must be some fan explanation for it. 
the needles basically come out the same as the um, screwdriver things from the first game. Mega Man 1 is so good. It really was a special game for the time. And it deserves more love. I'm going to make a full video just about how good the first game in the series is. That was a very short level. And we are already at the boss. And we're going to figure out what to do with him. Let's try that. When it hits, it is the right power, but... Okay. Easy, just don't jump. That's it, all bosses down. Now it is on to Dr. Wily, number three. And then in the next game, it's Dr. Kosak. We have a new rival. And his daughter, or robot daughter, Kalinka. And we got Rush Jet. Yay, I like using Rush Jet. It's basically like a better version of... Um, here we go, we have to fight these four again now, for some reason. But we fight Mega Man 2 bosses at the end, I think, if I remember right. Um, yeah, I was going to say Rush Jet is... I'll use it here just so I can show you. Basically a better version of item 2, which actually moves wherever you want it to. And that's literally the first time in the entire game that you've needed to use one of the items. I don't know why you would need health at that point. Can I get up there? Oh my god, that was a close jump. I actually prefer these levels more than the regular versions of the stages, just because they are more challenging, more more interesting. I actually like um, whatever this is called, Shadow Blade. It's a really fun weapon to use. Pretty short stage though, or is this just a mid-boss? Hey, look who it is! It's Metal Man! I don't know why they have to inhabit this weird robot. Why couldn't they just be the Mega Man 2 bosses? What's the in-law explanation? Why doesn't he have a health bar? How am I supposed to know? He's a lot harder than the original! Metal Man. Wow. I'll need to use an E tank. Oh, I couldn't even use an E tank. I guess I'll figure out what his weakness is instead. Oh no, really? Oh my god, I shouldn't have tried to brute force my way through that. Well, it's not. Well, actually, I didn't get a chance to try any of the weapons. It might be the Shadow Blade. Does anyone else remember having to do these stages? Like, I remember they existed, but that's about it. Oh, there you go. You can finally see what they do. I'm scared. Is anyone still watching? I know I've been streaming for a good few hours at this point. I think a bunch of people left after Mega Man 2. For anyone watching afterwards on YouTube, I'm actually streaming all three of these games back to back, actually. I wasn't expecting to. But I was having fun, so I figured I would just continue. Uh, what should we try? Let's try that. I'll just cycle through them and see what's good. Hey! James is watching. On YouTube. I'm glad I decided to do the dual stream on Twitch and YouTube. Gives people more options. Okay, so SP, whatever that refers to, is the weapon to use here. And... 
Oh my god. I was trying to press start then as fast as possible. You've, uh... Hey, a bunch of people. Love the Mega Mna. Um, got you on while I play Ease 8. Awesome. You were watching me earlier and surprised I'm still playing. Yeah. I, um, I decided to carry on because someone asked, like, is that the end of the stream now? I was like, ah, I'm having fun. I don't want to end the stream, especially after how bad the end of Mega Man 2 is. So I figured I will just, I will just carry on. So here we are, heading towards the end of Mega Man 3. And we get a Mega Man 2, Wily 2 style spike section. Again, nothing to worry about. Honestly, the dual stream helps because I don't have Twitch open. So you see me on YouTube and then go over to Twitch. Why not just stay on YouTube? And it's good that Twitch doesn't have any sort of restrictions anymore. And it makes it a lot easier for me to use that second channel. Because basically I don't need to do anything. I can just end the stream and give it a title and then it treats it as a video. Oh no! Ah! Ah! God damn it. That was too fast. Ah! How many lives have we got? I don't want to do all this again. Okay, I need to be careful. I wonder... I haven't got a turbo fire controller, so this might be a bit difficult to get through. Let's see, what can we... Okay. I doubt the snakes are going to do anything. Nope. Needles, not really. Magnets seem a bit faster. We've all gone now. Really? I thought that would do it. Oh no! Ah no! And there was a life there as well! Oh, that's horrible! No! No! Alright, let's try a different one. Oh, that was horrible. You can tell I haven't played this one in a while. I did not remember how difficult these extra ch extra challenge stages are. I think these stages just sort of all roll into my memories of the original stage. So it just feels like an extended stage. Oh, I can't believe that though, that was horrible. I'm gonna go and get that. He even waits and turns around for you. Love Rush Jet. He's the best. Look at that. So good. They nerfed him in later games. <laughs> Gonna give me weapon energy? Ah, oh, I could have used that. Right, which Mega Man 2 boss are we fighting this time? Airman! Except he's a lot easier now, because you can actually slide underneath. I don't know. Is 
Is he a lot easier? He's taking a lot more hits. Maybe that's how much he hits he does on uh, difficult mode. That's not the end of the stage, though. It'd be good if it was, but that's like the halfway point for these challenge levels. I guess they're challenge levels. And we get like a pseudo flying stage, which is cool. I always love it when games have like shoot 'em up sections, and I guess this is a very rudimentary version of that. In a way. With a uh, <laughs> extreme frame rate dip. Oh my god. And enemies come in from every direction. Yeah, I guess you're actually meant to do that the other way around, but. Whatever. Ah! Why did that come that far down? Okay, when you're not actually using Rush Jet, then I guess it doesn't make the weapon power go down, which is good. So you can actually just use the Mega Buster. Whoa, what have we got now? I should, I should heal, I think. Just in case. Robo mech. Uh, that's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. Okay. I don't know whether. Is that actually the laser that's doing damage? Or whether it's just the fact that I reached his head. Well, it worked! Either way, it worked. I don't know. Oh my god. I am not doing very well with that. Really? That's not even compatible. That was my favourite weapon just because it lets you fire in more directions. Yay, got a life back. I needed that. Yeah, yeah. you can just use anything. Ah. Okay, I didn't need to use the Gemini laser. Just ignore him. Wow, that stage was longer than the regular one. Now who have we got? Crashman? I think that's what his name was. I should have looked up the uh, boss weaknesses. This pattern seems pretty straightforward, maybe I don't need to. Yeah, that was easy. That was the easiest one so far. <coughs> Alright, that's one more down. We've got three more to go now. Should we attempt Sparkman's one again? Get it out of the way? We have to do it at some point. Diddly -loon, diddly -loon. I don't know what you would do here if you don't have any weapon energy. And then swap to... Oh, wrong side. Shadow. Shadow Blade, a worse version of the Metal Blade. Basically. I don't know why. I guess it's cool that it comes back to you. Oh, I remember what I was getting annoyed with. It's the, um... Oh, well, we'll get back there in a minute anyway. I love doing that. Dodging through those bullets. Right. What was this one? Metal Man, who's actually really difficult. 
Did we find a weakness? I can't remember. <clears throat> Let's try random things. Not that! Whoa, okay. That works. Cool, it seems to actually magnetize towards him. Nice. Alright, we'll remember that for next time then. So, I'll write that down. Uh, magnet to... I don't think we'll have to fight them again anyway. Magnet to Metal Man. Ah! I didn't mean to fire that. That's a bit scary. Despite the fact that I keep saying that they spike things, you never have to worry about them. It's still scary to look at. Uh, these are just annoying. Like, get out of the way. They don't even drop anything most of the time. This is a bit I didn't like. I don't know what to do! There has to be something faster! I don't know. I don't know how to get past it. Let's try spinning into them, maybe? If I have to redo this again, I'm gonna get really annoyed. I don't even care at this point. Just get me back there. Now. Unless I die on the way, oh my god. <sighs> wow. Alright, let's try... Nope. <laughs> that didn't do anything. What the hell? Oh my god, I don't know how to get past them. I mean, obviously I've done it before, but... I'm not even much luck here. If anyone's watching, how the hell do you get past the second Sparkman section? It's too much. I can literally, like, mash as fast as my thumb will allow, and I still won't be able to get past it. That's when using a save state would be okay. Or rewind. I'm actually going to look it up. Because that's stupid. Um... No way. I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. Look at this. Seriously? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> I'm gonna cry. I can't believe that's how you get past it. Oh my god. Alright, quick man. I have no idea. Not needle. Not the magnets. Oh my god, I'm dead. 
Wow. That was fast. So what did we try? We tried needle, magnets. Let's try Gemini laser. I can't believe I literally died instantly too. I think that was pretty effective. Oh, it's so annoying if you mess with it though. Yay! Hey, I ended up with the same amount of health as weapon ammo, that's cool. Well, we managed to figure out our way through that stage. That was painful. Now we have Gemini and Shadow. As we use the Gemini laser, let's go and try Gemini Man stage. Part two. What's new here? The flames are blue this time. Oh my god. And there's less floor. But it doesn't really make any difference because you would only really jump there anyway. I always find that in games, they like make it look more challenging than it is by removing some of the floor that you would never stand on. Like, it's not like those jumps were spaced apart, if you know what I mean. Okay, these are having more annoying patterns to them. And I guess we jump down there. And then we're back in Blobland. I'm just going to ignore that, honestly. Probably not much point going for that one either. After I was sorely disappointed last time. And I've already got full health on everything anyway. It might have given me an extra life, but honestly... There's been nothing challenging so far, so we could just try the stage again if we needed to. I still can't believe that you can't get rid of these bubbles with any other weapons. How annoying is that? That is not a more difficult stage, that is just the same stage, again. Flashman? I think that's what his name was. Alright, time to test out all the weapons again. Oh, found it straight away. Wow. Flashman. What happened to you? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not complaining. I can't believe the way to get past those trash cube things was just to fly straight over them. Rush Marine, it's your time to shine. Can we just keep going? Everything's just going to go past us? I'll take it. See how far we can get. Nice, all the way to the end. Well, that was easy. This whole level's been... Weirdly easy. Easier than the regular one. Oh, I, d I did not realise they were the same enemy. That's cool. Are they going to back? come back? Can we use them to farm? I guess so. That one just comes straight out of that hole. Oh. Maybe standing here is safer. Uh, maybe I don't need it anyway. Or there would actually be a better place to farm. <clears throat> if I wanted to. Ooh. I'll take that. See, why couldn't this be in Mega Man 2? This is much uh, nicer. Alright, that will do. I would like some more health though. <clears throat> a little bit of health. I'll take it. Did it come home? Uh, no. Sad. No bank holiday. Right, what are we going to have next? A bubble man, by the looks of it. He even gets his own background. The other ones didn't. And he's still got spikes at the top. Uh, so Clashman was good against Bubbleman before. 
I think we've already used magnet. Yep. The bubble seem to have like. Um, okay, that is not good. That is not good. What's on the second page? Snakes? We haven't tried the snakes yet. No, they don't do anything. It is this one. Ah, I need to heal. Actually, using up all the e-tanks this time. Spark shot. I'm surprised you can't angle the spark spark shot up. Yay! There we go. One more to go, then we can go to Doctor Wily. So, last one, Shadow Man. This is just padding, isn't it, at this point? Did anyone watching actually watch the football? Out of curiosity. I know I brought it up earlier and everyone said, oh, I'm not interested in football. I'm here to escape it. <laughs> Honestly, I figured, like, hey, I can be someone else's entertainment if they don't like watching football. I'll just ignore him. You did? Was it fun? Did England actually play well or not? I need to know something so I can speak to people at work tomorrow. Else they'll think I'm weird. That's annoying, you have to do that one twice. Oh, that's what I was remembering! Oh no. Uh, I hate this. Oh no, I hate that even more! Uh huh. Damn it. Oh, uh, there's no checkpoint. What is the point of those spikes? You're never gonna touch them. It's just to make it look threatening. The only ones that are an issue are those ones at the bottom there. Right. Why you wouldn't start moving right when you go down onto the next screen, I have no idea. Ow. Alright, give me health then. Nothing! How rude! I wonder if I can use Rush Jet to just skip past it. I guess you don't really need light, because you can see the platforms anyway. Ah, damn it! I did jump! I did jump, I promise. <sighs> oh well, this is the last stage anyway. I forgot how long Mega Man 3 is. I know I said it was longer than the first one. Than the first two. Probably longer than the first two combined. But it's also the best of the bunch so far, so I'm not complaining. <coughs> I do really like it. It has its issues, and the stages aren't really that memorable. And the music doesn't fit the levels that much, I don't think, anyway. Ooh. Oh, I can't reach it anyway. Hey, we did it! It's coming home. Mega Man is coming home. More of those weird slinky robot things. I don't understand the point of most of the robots in this game. Like, at least in the first one, they kind of had their own purposes. Woodman! Is there any sort of fire weapon this time? So what have we already used? We've used the needle, we've used magnets, we've used the... We haven't used that. Oh, we have. Do we? Have we? That didn't work anyway. <laughs> Top man, is it? No. Top man is just stupid. How many lives have we got? We got one. Is it the snakes? We're gonna die anyway. It might be the snakes. We'll find out in a minute. Oh my god, right back at the start, really? Well, we can carry on from using the snakes. That's where we got up to.
Hey, that's perfect timing. I, I'll do that next time. You can just run forward there. I suppose I could use Shadow Man's weapon there to do that faster as well. I am tempted to just cheat here. Just to get back there faster. Is it cheating? I guess, kind of. Or at least I can say I did it officially. Once. Uh, right, where were we up to? Try the snakes. That's still a bit more first, isn't there? Three snakes. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. All right. Let's try them quickly before he can get his shield up. Oh, he does it instantly. All right, let's try. I don't know if they're the actual weakness, but they did something. I don't think they are, actually. I don't know why it is. That's not doing much, either. Really? No! Oh. All right, I'll try again. At least I got... Weapon energy. I don't think any of those were a weakness. I'm gonna look that up. Oh, actually, I do have a note. Needle. Needle cannon? Okay. Did we not try that one? How cool. And now we've got a full rush jet, we can just skip this part of the level again. Oh my god, that's too much going on. Oh my god, the frame rate. Uh, like, one frame a second there. I can't even jump up, oh my god. I've never seen it that bad in any Mega Man game. Wow. Clearly, didn't have the expert programmer they did in Mega Man 1. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, what did it say? Needle? Okay. Let's go. Oh, actually. I'd better save it just in case because we haven't got any E-Tanks anymore. I can't believe I've actually been struggling this one quite a bit. I was used to think Mega Man 3 wasn't that difficult. Well, here we go. Can we get a hit in before he puts his shield up? No. Nope. Okay, that does help a little bit. Yay, I don't know how you're supposed to do that without getting hit. I'm glad I don't have to fight him anymore. Oh, this is horrible. Making use of the slide attack. I'll commend them for actually using their new technique. There's no point using that, is there? That is... Oh my god! Horrible. Come on, are you gonna drop something down? Nope. This is horrible. I already hated this section. In the regular stage! Oh man. Go away! Go away! Ah. Give me health, please. 
Really? Can I go out and come back? No. All right, no farming. Straight on to the next. The next boss. I'm actually going to look it up because I do not want to go through this again. It is Heat Man, and we need to use the Shadow Blade or the Hard Knuckle. All right, we've got the Shadow Blade equipped. We've barely got any health. And uh, no E tanks. What the hell? Oh, damn it! I knew that was going to happen. I knew he was going to go there. Where are you going to restart me from? Okay, right outside the door. That's okay. We've got one more attempt as well. Where am I going? That's what I want. Alright, let's try again! His pattern is all over the place though. I don't know if there's any dodge in that. That's better. We got something dialed in. Yay! All right, that is it. Now we're on to Dr. Wily officially. That was actually really difficult. They were really challenging stages and bosses. Breakman? Who the hell is Breakman? Hmm. Oh my god, a cutscene with text. Oh no, right after we received the last element. Wily ran off with Gamma. IBM? That PC actually said IBM. <laughs> wow, they couldn't be more unoriginal if they tried. There we go, it wouldn't be Wily without his eyebrows going up and down. And again, his spaceships had another upgrade. Look at all those new details on it. Here we go, here's Wily Castle. Let the end of the game begin, and let the awesome music begin! Oh, there's a one-up waiting for me right there. I'll take it. Not as epic as Mega Man 2's Wily music. Nothing ever will be. I love the uh, set design for this one though. With the fences and Dr. Wily's logo over everything. And all these really like tough looking robots everywhere protecting it. Yeah, finally an A-tank. I thought they were just giving up on letting me have them for a bit. Hey, I didn't know they dived like that. I guess I always take them out too soon. It's not Mario, we can't go through the pipe. It does look like a Mario stage. Uh, we need to use the knuckle. That's basically this game's equivalent of the crash bombs. That crash bomb fight at the end of Mega Man 2 is just so stupid. Like, why the hell did they design it like that in the first place? I hate it so much. I genuinely think it's like one of the worst designed parts of any game. I could have gone through and got them. Not as good as Mega Man 2's Wily Music, but it's still a really cool tune. Oh, I thought I was safe there. You think I'm going to attempt these blocks? Oh. Have I half attempted them? I 
I did look up a guide for these bits. We need to use the Shadow Blade. I don't really remember how to fight these. Oh, you use it on the turtles. All it said on this guide was turtle. It's like, huh? I don't see a turtle. There's the turtle. What a really weirdly easy fight. Especially, oh wow, it's fast. Okay, especially after we watch just what we've been through though. That was weirdly easy. So next up is the return of the yellow devil. In Wily part two, we have four more fights to go. I don't really need any weapon energy yet. I'll take that though. Oh no! Can I go to the, from that side? I would like it. I'm going to try again. And I guess. Just because. <clears throat> Alright, let's try again. We can get it. Got to jump really, really fast. There we go. And thank god it's not like Mega Man 2 with the disappearing floor. And uh, this bit, I think you can just slide straight past everything. Yep. And quickly swap to that one. This game's equivalent of the Metal Blade. It's just easier to take those out if you've got that. Whoops, probably... Uh... Oh, even though it's like the Metal Blade, you can't aim down. That's a bit of a uh, downgrade. Let's get Rush back out. I'll take the health. And the E-Tank. And another one. Awesome. I'll take them both. And there's his energy. That was easy. So now it is the return of the Yellow Devil. I wonder whether the pattern's the same. Shall I attempt to fight it normally? I don't know what you would use. Um, it's had a bit of an upgrade with the visuals. No, it's different. It's a lot easier. A lot easier. Okay, and he stays around longer. Anyway, it said we can use the hard knuckle. I preferred it in the first game. This one's a bit slow. And you can... Oh, no. Oh, okay, that's new. Maybe I complained too soon. That was pretty cool, actually, the way they were bouncing across the floor. You can tell I don't really play Mega Man 3 as much as the other ones, because that, that actually surprised me. Oh, no, really? I didn't know it would take that much damage. I'm going to have to try and fill back up the uh, hard knuckle, though. There's one more down there. Ah! What's going on? <laughs> oh, really? I'm suffering. And my thumb's suffering as well. I've been playing for four hours now. I was only planning to do a short stream. There we go. There we can go out. Yeah, the only reason I streamed was because I wanted to test out my new audio equipment. How does it sound, by the way? Does it sound different to normal? Does it sound clearer? I guess most people won't even notice, but it was something I was interested to see whether it existed or not. To basically do all of the audio processing from a device rather than doing it from the computer. Doing it in hardware. It seems to work really well. Oh, all the... Uh, all the good stuff's disappeared. What are you doing? Trying to take a different route to see if there's anything new, but not really. 
<clears throat> so, hard knock on one. I guess we just have to endure this. Bang. Okay, there's no point trying to do it twice. Got it. And I'll try and keep an eye on my health. And fire! Oh my god. This is where... I don't know where to stand. Whoa, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Have they gone faster? No, I think I just wasn't prepared. And fire! And I'm gonna use an E-Tank, just in case. I got scared. Watch me not get hit now. Okay, maybe it was good I used it. Right, one more hit and he's down. Then it's on to Wily Stage 3. Woohoo! We're done! Diddle -da. Next up is Hologram Clones. Whatever that means. Is that more do is that more Mega Man 2 bosses? I can't remember. Oh yeah, enjoy this music. This music's awesome. Dun, 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 Waiting for me? Weird. I'll take it. I just used one, so I'll happily get one back. I'm scared. Maybe he can use a snake. Ah, okay, that's what's going on. I like the idea of using the snakes to figure out what's happening. Uh, oh, I guess I'm trapped down here. Okay. That is not a dead end. I don't know what the point of that guy is up there. Ow! I thought maybe there wasn't room to get underneath him. Wow, that took off a lot of health as well. Oh my god. That's cool. I guess they used background scrolling. That's really neat. They did something very, very similar to that in Mega Man 9, I think it was. Right, what do we have in the boxes? Tiny little piece, piece of ammo and a big one. I guess I'll just use them both on that. What a waste of item. Uh, right, next up is hologram clones. And we need to use the snakes. Oh, it's alright. I was about to say we've almost run out of uh, snake. Oh, wow, there's three this time. Is it only one of them is real? One. Oh my god, wow, what? They hurt. Alright, let's try again. Oh, I didn't have full health though, did I? Okay, maybe we have to try and kill these guys in hopes of getting some ammo for the, uh, for the clones. Oh no, this is like Frogger. Yeah, you can tell it's part of the background, because 
when the screen scrolls. You can see it snap like that. Oh no, it doesn't even let us try. Right. Well, I think I've got a good idea of what to do anyway. Go to the top. And one, two, three. Okay, so it has to be that one. No? What? Oh, nice. Okay, it wasn't that bad, after all. Dun, 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 dun. And there we are moving on. We've got two more stages to go. Spark shot on the cannon and hard knuckle on the dome. Let's stock up on hard knuckle then. And spark shots already full, although we do need the shadow blade. I know I'm cheating a little bit. But it's getting late, but I want to finish this first. Oh, what? What is that? Okay. Let's leave them for now. We'll probably have to come back here. Anyway. This is when I wish Mega Man 3 had the charge shot as well. I don't know what you're supposed to be able to do against these guys. Jump over it, maybe? What is this stage meant to be anyway? Like, where am I? So, what did it say? It said... Spark shot... On the cannon. Let's see what that means. Oh, we have to do all the other robots first. Of course. Uh, okay, needle... Man... Gemini laser. Yeah, I'm cheating. So what? Oh. Come on, hit him. Oh, no! I didn't realise how little health I had. Right. Gemini laser. Activate. I thought there'd be more wily robot things, but... Maybe not. Is it going to be kind, like, Mega Man 2 and at least give me health? Yes. I'll make sure to jump from above. Okay. Who is next? This time we're actually having to fight them properly. Uh, Magnet Man needs the spark. bad. And... Gemini Man! Snakes. Snakes? I didn't use the snakes last time. Just me. <sighs> that was close. I almost used an E-Tank there. How many lives have I got? Two. Next. Hard man. Magnet missiles. Oh, no, run out. Oh, my God. It's close. Oh, again. So close to using an E tank. Wow. If we can claw this back, then we're okay. Top man needs uh, nothing, because he's a pushover. Unless he's changed. Oh my god. Maybe he has changed. I refuse to use any tank on top man. I refuse. My status as a Mega Man fan will have to be revoked if I can't beat top man without using any tank. Thank god for that. I'm still allowed to be a Mega Man fan. 
That was close though. Who have we got this time? Uh, top spin. Oh no. Top spin. <laughs> I don't know how to use that. Just. Just blast into him. No idea what to do with top spin. Two more. Uh, spark man. Shadow blade. It actually seems like you can't spam the attacks like you can in some of the other games. And the final one. And then we're on to Dr. Wily. Snake Man. I should know this one. Needle Cannon. Easy. We're done. So... We need... Spark Shark. Let's fill that back up. And we got an extra life there as well. Nice. Here we go, final stage! And what else do we need? Spark Shark. Hard Knuckle and Shadow Blade. Alright, we will leave them. Um, I don't remember what to do yet. Okay, kind of scary. It's coming in like a... Um, like that. Wow, that was easy. If I wasn't rushed, I would actually figure out this properly, but... Because it's getting late. Uh, what I was saying was, it's... Uh, time for any tank. Whoops. This one's... really hard. Like, what the hell? Where am I supposed to go? What? Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Even with the weaknesses. Ah, oh, really? What a waste. Okay, at least the first bit's easy. when it arrives on the screen. Wow. Okay, that's like instant. Are you sure? Let's get out of there. Oh my god, what? There must be some time into it. Oh, thank god for that. That was horrible. And there is one more. We need to use the Shadow Blade and the Hard Knuckle. And then the top spin. Oh my god. I don't like using the top spin. Is that really the only way to do it? Uh, there's more. He was a fake. Oh, nice. Lives everywhere. So. Hard oh, knuckle. Shadow blades already fall, so. 
Uh, I don't know why you would need health at this point. But let's go for it. I'm going in blind. <clears throat> well, blind with a guide. Shadow Blade or Hard Knuckle. Maybe the Shadow Blade's easier. No, like, where the hell can I even stand? Which bit hurts me? Apparently none of it? I probably would have just used the Shadow Blade anyway. Oh my god. And then top spin. That's it. Oh shoot, I haven't got any. Do you really need to? I think I'm... I think I'm done for. Oh, that worked. Okay. Slightly. better off just reset him. Okay, maybe we can do it with the snakes. How many snakes have I got? I don't think I've got enough. And I'm dead anyway. Alright, so let's... Wait, there's nothing here, what am I meant to do? Ah, oh, this is another one of those things where I'm just going to have to kill myself to get the health back. Really? I don't think I've got enough. doesn't even hurt me anyway. I'm just going to have to kill myself over and over again. I don't understand why it gives you health at the start, because you'll always have full health. So none of this actually hurts me at all. Weird. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't understand what I'm doing right now, I'm just having to uh, die on purpose. Because I was stupid and I didn't fill up the top spin. Which is what I needed. Okay. Got to do that two more times, I think. See, yeah, two more times. Shame it doesn't carry over the E tanks. One more, or two I guess, because also zero counts as a life as well. This is so stupid. Why would they not have more weapon energy refills. Or at least have them in the level. 
At least it's not as stupid as Mega Man 2, making you actually die and repeat the entire stage over again. Is that it? Or we got to do it one more time? Gotta do it again! Alright, back in we go. Is everyone having fun? And then we actually have to take it seriously after. I mean, it should be really simple, because part one is literally just standing here a few times and using the Shadow Blade. And then part two is literally just go up to the top and spin into his head. A few times, maybe. Should be easy. Alright. Oh no, how sad. Game over. Please, let me restart from there. Wait. From here? If it is, I'm just going to call it there. Let's see where it starts me from. No. Alright then, we're ending the stream there. Thanks everyone! Pretend I finished Mega Man 3, I'm not going through all that again. I'll be here for like another hour. So thanks everyone for watching! That was Mega Man 1, 2 and 3. And maybe I'll stream 4, 5 and 6 in the week at some point. Bye!